Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to bake this chocolate chip and raisin loaf bread. This homemade loaf bread is very delicious and lightly sweetened yeast bread. It is a wonderful slice of bread where you just need to tear it off from the loaf and it makes fabulous toss. I am purposely making this shipping loaf bread that you can just tear it off without any cutting. What you need to do is just tear off the portion of bread that you want and enjoy your breakfast at home. We will start with the bread flour, followed by half teaspoon of salt, one and a quarter teaspoon of yeast, and gently mix them. Next, we will put in 2 tablespoons of condensed milk. After that, we will mix to blend well. Next, we will add in one large egg. Next, we will add in the milk. Add in half of the milk and mix it first. After that, we'll add in the second portion and mix well. If you wonder why my milk is brown color, it's because I'm using the Farm Fresh Red Dates milk flavor. Add the milk gradually and mix until it is all combined. Once the dough gathers in the center of the bowl like a shaggy mass, turn it over on a flour board. Here we will gradually sprinkle some of the reserved flour to help with the stickiness of the dough. We will need to knead the dough until it is smooth and elastic. Dusting the board and your hand as needed just minimally to help with the stickiness. This kneading process will take about 5 to 8 minutes. After that we can check for the window pan. When the window pan is transparent enough, next we will add in the butter. This bread is filled with a sweet, buttery, condensed milk filling. The combination of the butter and the condensed milk in the dough can give the extra note of sweetness and more flavorful. It is not too sweet though. Here we will need to knead the dough until it is smooth and elastic. After that, we will shape the dough into a ball, place it in a bowl and cover it. Let it rise for one hour. While waiting for the dough to rise, we can prepare the filling. Here, we will need to mix the butter and the condensed milk. Mix them until all combined and smooth. After one hour, our dough has risen. Now, we will need to punch out the gas. Next, we will fold the dough 4 to 5 times to release more gas. In this recipe, I'm going to make two loaves of bread. One with the raisin and another one with the chocolate chip. 
After we flatten it out, we will need to cut the dough into half. We will work on the first half and cover the other half with the damp cloth to prevent dry out. Next, we will roll to flatten out the dough. Using a roller pin, roll it into an oval shape. When the dough is ready, now we will spread the condensed milk filling on the dough. Gently spread the filling sauce evenly across the dough. Next, I'm using a plastic cutter to cut the dough vertically. I'm cutting the dough into stripes about 1 cm apart and I do not cut it into the end. Cut it slowly and neatly. we will add in the chocolate chip. You can add in any other topping that you like. After that, we will need to fold it up tightly like a Swiss roll. Next, we will place it into a baking tray and rest for another one hour. Now, we will start to make the second loaf. I will start to spread some butter on this loaf pan to prevent the bread from sticking. We will use the same fold method to fold it 4 to 5 times for this bread to spread out the gas. Next, we will use the same roller pin to flatten out the dough into an oval shape. After that, we will spread in the condensed milk filling. Next, we will cut the dough into vertical line like this. Next, we will put in raisins for this loaf. Next, we will fold the dough tightly like a Swiss roll. When the dough is ready, we transfer to the loaf pan. Arrange it nicely and we will rest it for 1 hour. After 1 hour when the dough has risen, we will brush the butter sauce on the dough. 
After that, we will bake at 170 Celsius for 22 minutes. After 22 minutes, now let's check the bread. The benefit of this shaping method is it, we do not need to cut the bread, we just need to pull the bread into slices. This bread is soft, sweet and milky. It tastes as good as it looks. My hope is that you find even more joy making bread than sharing the delight of eating with your favorite people. I love this bread so much and I hope to have you in this wonderful bread making journey as well. This homemade condensed milk bread is a top notch breakfast choice. Add some fresh squeezed orange juice and a hot cup of your favorite coffee and you will have a breakfast that will be right at home on a cafe menu. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. And please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.